Hello, my name is Pete and I'm one of the web designers and SEO consultants here at Create. Today we're going to take a quick look at Google Chrome Experiments. In essence, Google Chrome Experiments is a collection of unique and interesting applications created using only HTML5, CSS3, Canvas 3D and jQuery. And it's quite impressive and shows off what you can do within a modern browser basically. So Google themselves actually set up the project to, to showcase exactly this. And uh, every experiment you see here is, is compatible with the latest version of the Google Chrome browser. Now, going back to a couple of months ago, we actually wrote a blog post recommending some of our favourite Google Chrome experiments, but we thought it would be fun to showcase them in action and just really take a more in-depth look at them. So firstly, we have a little program called Sketchpad. Now, Sketchpad could be seen as the web-based equivalent to a modern design program such as Photoshop. And it's quite impressive, really, and shows off what you can do with modern HTML languages such as HTML5 in combination with CSS3 and JavaScript. Now, you'll see in the interface straight away has everything you'd come to expect in a normal graphic design program. Everything from your crop tools to your text, your brushes, and your fill tools. And to the right hand side, we also have panels for gradients, patterns, history, and even the option to export the image and save it elsewhere. So, what we're trying to do here is just put a quick something together. So, let's see, uh, maybe use the fill tool, set it to a nice green. As you can see, it's quite easy and fluid to use. And uh, why don't we just quickly write something using the brush tool? Right, career. Now, please forgive me, as my writing probably does look like children's writing, as I am not the best with a mouse. But essentially, it just sort of shows you just imagine what could be made and possible if Adobe brought together a web based version of Photoshop. So moving on, we have Browser Pong. Now, Browser Pong straight away will be familiar to anyone who's played the classic arcade game Pong. And uh, let's just load it up. And this is truly one of those things you could not create using any other plugin, such as Adobe Flash. Now, here we go, having a quick game. Now, famously so far, I have never been able to build, beat the computer on this, and I'm sure I will lose again while I am showing it out here on the video. And of course, great, there goes the first point. Anyway, as you can see, this is a really imaginative use of HTML and browser windows. So next up we have Crystal Galaxy. Now if you're a web developer, Crystal Galaxy will be the, probably the application here which I showcase which impresses you the most as it is created using only JavaScript, HTML5 and DHTML. And absolutely nowhere can a trace of Adobe Flash be found. So we'll give this game a go again. And again, I'm not very good at this one either, but I'll try and show it off. And as you see it features 3D graphics and it's a very traditional, typical side-scrolling action. In essence, there's little applications like this which could pose a real threat to Adobe Flash in the future. So moving on to the last showcase, we've got something called Browser Talk. So Browser Talk is a really fun little application which, in essence, lets your browser talk back to you. Now, if you don't understand what I mean by that, let me just show you. So this application does use a little bit of Flash in the way that it uses your computer's microphone. But besides that, it's all created using JavaScript and HTML. So all we're going to do is grant access to the uh, microphone, and then choose the personality. So for a laugh, why don't we go for the uh, pirate? So as you can see as I'm talking, the uh, pirate's mouth is moving also, and really this is just a fun little application, just sort of again showing off the capabilities of HTML5. So in a nutshell, that is Google Chrome Experiments. So for more, you can either browse through the website itself, or maybe uh, check out our blog post. You can find the blog post related to this topic at http www.creadesign.co.uk forward slash blog forward slash web hyphen designers slash google hyphen chrome hyphen experience.html. Thanks for watching.